Hey guys, for Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. What a time to be alive for TV fans far and wide. We are truly living in the golden age of television and the content could not be better. 2019 was especially exceptional when it came to good television, but all of that abundance came with a catch. There's just not enough time to watch it all. But that didn't stop us from trying tirelessly to stay up to date with trending shows like Game of Thrones, Euphoria, and Stranger Things. After all, what else is there to talk about around the water cooler or an awkward family dinner? Plus, with the way the industry is going, your TV topic of conversation shall never run dry. So if you're caught up on everything or you've been waiting to binge, here's a list of some of the best shows of 2019 in no particular order, just in time to help you through those last bit of holiday events. The Act 2019 saw a plethora of true crime television. It became America's obsession, and true crime fanatics like me could not get enough of it. Perhaps one of the greatest to do it was Hulu with their imagining of Gypsy Rose Blanchard's story. I first heard of Gypsy Rose's case after watching the documentary Mommy Dead and Dearest on HBO back in 2017. The story of a tragic case of Munchausen syndrome by proxy was unbelievable to see unfold. For those of you that don't know, Munchausen syndrome by proxy is a form of mental illness and a form of child abuse where often the mother makes up fake symptoms or causes real symptoms to make it look like the child is sick. That definition in itself is horrific, and Patricia Arquette and Joey King, who played Gypsy Rose and Dee Dee Blanchard respectively in the Hulu series, could not have been a better mother-daughter duo gone wrong. Arquette even snagged an Emmy win for Best Supporting Actress, and both Arquette and Joey King got nominated for the Golden Globes. Everything about the way the series was made, from the dramatic sound effects to the slow camera movements, made this story creepier than the true events in transpired, as if that was even possible. Russian Doll Have you guys ever binged an entire series in one sitting? Well, I embarrassingly have, and that was Netflix's Russian Doll starring Natasha Lyonne. Before you judge me too hard though, it was just like eight 30 minute episodes, but let me tell you, they were all extremely compelling. This is the sort of mystery series where you're constantly saying, what the at the end of every episode. The storyline is basically a gender-swapped Groundhog Day set in 2019 Brooklyn, where the main character Nadia, played by Leon, dies repeatedly and always starts her life back up at the same moment. What does change is the characters and the audience's look on life and all of the crazy turns it takes us on. Season two of the series was announced earlier this year, but no release date has been set. Stranger Things 3. I, for one, was skeptical about another season of Stranger Things. Season two felt like they were trying a little too hard to recreate the magic of the first season, and let's just say it didn't cut it for most people. However, season three came back with a vengeance and completely stole the hearts of many once again, giving us all hope for the future of the saga. Maybe it was the fact that the story was set in summer instead of fall, or that the addition of evil Russians added to the 80s nostalgia on a serious level. Whatever it was, Hawkins was swarming with suspenseful mystery, complete with possessed teens. But the chemistry between the original cast of kids who are now awkward teenagers worked so well together, especially Uncle Steve Harrington as he manages Dustin and his new co-worker Robin. The season finale left me in tears, which means I'm emotionally invested in season four, so let's see if the Duffer brothers can pull it off once again when they start production in January 2020. Snowfall Even though John Singleton unexpectedly passed earlier this year, his art will live on forever. That's especially true for his creation Snowfall, which just finished its third season on FX this past September. The crime series, which is one of many Fire originals from the network, plays out like a slow burn, getting better and better with each season. British actor Damson Idris carries the show along with impeccable writing that has you questioning why you're rooting for a young teenager slowly transforming into a money-hungry monster operating during the height of the crack cocaine epidemic in Los Angeles. Many consider this last season to be the best of the three, with the fourth season set to release in 2020. Mr. Robot not many shows encapsulate the meaning of the phrase the golden age of television quite like Mr. Robot does. Now that we're in the series' fourth and final season, the pressure is on to stick the landing. But something tells me there is no way creator Sam Esmail could drop the ball based on the pure genius that he's displayed with the show so far. The show's star Rami Malek just got a Golden Globe nomination for Best Performance by an Actor in a Television Series, and it's not hard to see why. Rami's performance this season has given us some of the best television moments that we've ever seen. Euphoria Euphoria was the cool new kid on the block this year as it captured audiences by surprise with its grittiness and blatant honesty about the way high schoolers are living their lives in 2019. The first word I used to describe my reaction to watching the first episode is 
shock. I watched through old millennial eyes as I saw Gen Z high schoolers partaking in every mortal sin imaginable. As I continued watching the series though, I quickly learned Sam Levinson's semi-autobiographical tale was really one of the trauma that all of these teens were experiencing, covered in sex, drug use, and a lot of glittery makeup. Looking back at 2019, it seems like Euphoria was one of the few shows to completely infiltrate pop culture this year. It was all you ever heard of, that and Game of Thrones' ability to completely drop the ball in its final season. Zendaya proved herself to be far away from her Disney days in her role as Rue, a drug-addicted teenager trying to get her together. It wasn't enough to snag her a Golden Globe nomination, though, which in my opinion is a total snub. She did, however, earn a nomination for Best Actress in a Drama Series for the Critics' Choice Awards. Watchmen. On to my current obsession and my next choice for one of the best television series of all time. Watchmen, in one word, is exceptional. After a 2009 feature film that failed to do Alan Moore's fabled 1985 DC comic justice, Damon Lindelof finally hit bullseye with his iteration set in present-day America. HBO's Watchmen starts nearly 30 years after the events in the graphic novel ended, where mass vigilante cops hunt for members of a white supremacist group that call themselves the Seventh Cavalry. Regina King stars as protagonist Angela Abar, who is equal parts relatable and extraordinarily badass. The standout episode is definitely episode six, I don't even want to get into it for fear of spoiling, so just do yourself a favor and catch up on Watchmen if you haven't already. Succession You know a series has hit jackpot popularity when social media is flooded with reactions to a finale. That is exactly what transpired with Succession Season 2. I had to turn my eyes away because, admittedly, I have not seen the series yet. Like I said at the top of this news story, so much television, so little time. But based off of word of mouth and critical reviews I've cautiously read as to avoid any spoilers, it seems that I may be saving the best for last year. Succession is a satirical comedy drama about the Roy family when they are faced with uncertainty on whether or not the patriarch Logan Roy will continue to run the company. It's a love or hate to love type of thing that makes this series so captivating. Plus, it's just as hilarious as it can be gut-wrenching. The finale of season one won the Emmy and history may repeat itself because the season two finale is what has everyone dying for season three to come back in 2020. So there you have it, guys. That was a handful of the best television shows in 2019. Check out the full list on complex.com. And if you think we missed any, sound off in the comment section below. That's all for now. For more on this and everything else, subscribe to Complex News on YouTube. For Complex, I'm Natasha Martinez. Mm -hmm.